Warning, excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install ice maker. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Today we're gonna to install a under the counter ice maker and we're gonna start with reading the instructions on the top of the box. What we're gonna do first is we're going to, I've got a second helper because this is a heavy machine. So what we're gonna do first as they're following the instructions is we're gonna lay it down on its back. So the first thing we need to do is find its back. Well, here's the back. So we're gonna lay it down on the back itself. So we're gonna flip it around and then with my helper, we're going to lay it down. Next part of the instructions are to open these flaps. All right, we're gonna remove these styrofoam from the bottom only. Here, I'll take that. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure all of these flaps are bent back. So we have to lift this bottom one up a little bit and I'll do that while you do the flap. Thank you. Then we're gonna lay it back on its top. And we're gonna lift the box right up. Now, next thing is, is to take all the tape off. Before installing the appliance fully, go ahead and take off the registration card off the product and go ahead and register it online. And we still have our helper here. We're gonna go ahead and put this near the spot where it's gonna go. Oh, it's gotta be open here just a little bit so we can get to the back. These are all the tools that you're gonna to need to install this ice maker. One crescent wrench or a 7 16 open end wrench, a second crescent wrench, again, or a second 7 16 open end wrench, a quarter inch nut driver, and a regular flat blade screwdriver. That's all the tools you need. The only thing that other than the ice maker that you have to purchase is the water supply line. And with the water supply line, we suggest the copper tubing or this part number right here is in the use and care guide. And it's the PEX tubing is what it's called. If you have an ice maker that comes with a drain pump, it will also come with the drain hose that you can connect to your plumbing. Okay, we're starting with the installation instructions and we're going to follow step by step of how to install this ice maker, including all of our local and international plumbing codes for the drain and for the water supply. Before you install the water line, you wanna make sure that you have 30 pounds of pressure minimum and then 120 pounds pressure maximum of cold water to the ice maker. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do when we connect the water line is we're going to take the cap off that's installed on the product as it came from the factory. And we're just going to have a backing wrench here so we don't twist the line inside. And we're going to adjust our wrench here to fit on here correctly. And loosen it up. Now that we have it loosened, we remove it. Lay that aside. Now we have our water supply line. We're going to connect it, make sure that it's nice and square before you start tightening it. If it starts very hard, it's cross-threaded. If it's nice and easy, you're all set. In a couple turns, it'll start tightening up. And a couple more turns. Just make sure you don't go too tight and you're all set. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and connect the water line that you've already connected to the ice maker. We're going to connect it to the water supply itself. Make sure the fittings are nice and tight and then go ahead and turn the water supply on slightly and then check for leaks at either of your fittings. 
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install the drain hose to the drain pump that's on the ice maker. The first thing we need to do is remove these five screws, quarter inch screws. As you were pulling this off, you can lift the tubing out of the way and go ahead and you can just pull the back right off. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install the drain hose onto the product. We're going to feed it through the back panel here. Then we're going to install our hose clamp. Okay. And then we're going to put it on the open tubing that's on the drain pump itself. And and tighten the hose clamp. Okay, now that's, that's nice and tight. You tug on it a little bit, make sure it's not gonna come off. And feed all of the tubing through the panel. And reattach. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to push it back into its permanent spot. And as we do that, we're going to make sure the tubing doesn't get kinked as you push it back. So watch the tubing and just push it back until you get it even with the rest of your cabinets. And after that, we can start uninstalling the safety material on the outside that protect, protects the surface. Now we're gonna level the product. Before we fully install it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that it's level. In this case, it's already level. There's no adjustment needed. But if we had to adjust it, what we would have to do is lift the front of the product up a little bit with one person, I'd need my helper again, and then we would go ahead and use an open end wrench or crescent wrench to go ahead and move the legs down. Okay, we're gonna adjust it to the right size. And then loosen it and go ahead and screw it down. Now, at intervals, we're gonna set it down, check the level, see if it's correct. And then we're going to head, if it needs to be adjusted more, we can lift it back up. Adjust it some more and set it back down. When you're finished installing it, you can open the door and on the inside, you're going to have a checklist that you can go through and check off to make sure that you did not miss anything from the installation instructions. And then, Make sure you reach in here and remove any material in here. Like this one has your use and care book and it has a filter to install. After that, you look in there, make sure you don't have anything in there. You have a nice scoop here that you can remove and take out. And then be sure that you use a mild dish soap to wash the interior and the ice scoop before you start the product. What we're gonna do is make sure we already removed the film from the outside of the door. And now this face has also a protective film. So we're gonna grab it on a corner, remove it, and then you can discard this. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is install the water filter. So then we're gonna remove the top cover, okay, of the filter. We're gonna remove the cap that's already on the product. Set that aside. Now we're gonna insert the every drop water filter. Push it in fully and then twist as you push it in clockwise until it seats. And you're done.